My name is Paul Rykoff, and I'm the executive director and founder of IAVA, the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. I started IAVA in 2004 after I got out of the Army. I came back from a tour in Iraq as a platoon leader, and it's pretty simple. We had 38 guys in my unit who were struggling to transition home. They didn't have educational support, they didn't have employment information, they didn't have a community they can link back into, and there really wasn't even a place online for them to get together and gather. So it was really from a sense of taking care of our own. Um, so it was me and a few other veterans. We started it on our credit cards in a studio apartment uh, and got it off the ground with a lot of support from folks throughout the country and throughout the world. Our motto is, we've got your back. So we want to show every veteran in America that we've got their back. We know where they're coming from. We want to connect them with stuff that improves their lives, helping them go back to school, helping them get a job, and sometimes just connecting with other veterans in their community because it can be such an isolating experience. We're thrilled to be involved with CGI, and I think it, it goes back to what we kicked off at CGI America in Chicago this summer. Uh, we were asked by CGI to put together the veterans section, uh, and the focus was veterans unemployment. So how can we bring together all these folks who are working in the space to lower the veterans unemployment rate? That was our task from the president. We're military people, so we like to stay on mission. And we came out of Chicago with a lot of momentum, with a number of commitments. And most importantly, I think CGI America helped us put veterans unemployment on the national dialogue. So our commitment is with the Chamber of Commerce. We're going to do five smart job fairs in the next year. The Chamber of Commerce is going to bring the jobs, and we're going to bring the vets. It's kicking off uh, in October in San Francisco around Fleet Week. We're going to bring over 200 vets there to connect with companies that want to hire them, that understand that vets aren't just charity, they're an investment. They're going to be a generation of leaders, teachers, maybe even a president or two. This is smart for their business. It's good for your bottom line. If somebody's been overseas and, and run a platoon in Fallujah, they can handle a sales desk back in Tulsa. Uh, they're tough, they're, they're disciplined, they're going to be on time and have a good haircut and shine shoes, and they're exactly the type of people we need in this economy right now. CGI has been a great platform for us to just connect people with the veterans movement and we look at it as a social movement. It's a group of people who are coming home after service and want to continue to serve but it's not just the veterans. Anybody who cares can step up and support IAVA. It doesn't matter who you voted for, it doesn't matter how you feel about the war, everybody can step up and support our vets and we think that's a movement that's really catching some good momentum and it's going to culminate uh, this fall with 11-11-11. That is Veterans Day. It's the 11th day, 11th month, 11th year. It's going to be a big deal in our community and there'll be activities going on nationwide. Uh, and that's going to be an important galvanizing day uh, for the veterans community. And hopefully we can finally turn the corner on Vietnam and the way veterans were treated after that conflict and, and invest in this new generation of leaders.